good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is... So, I'm pretty young, y'all. And as a young person, one of the things that I have preoccupy my mind on a daily basis is that I'm single, alone, and have no one to live for other than myself. It is a me, myself, and nobody else kind of existence. And that, to me, is a purposeless one. Because I, I don't really care too much about myself. And that is to say that I would like someone who can take hours of my life away that isn't centered around just myself. Someone who I can share my cooking with. Someone who I can laugh with. Someone who I can create inside jokes with. And just overall, someone who I can love. I know, I know call me a simp or whatever but i would like someone in this life who i can love because it sounds really nice to me and i don't mean anything like hookup culture or whatever because i think that just hooking up is stupid and a waste of time but rather someone who i can spend time growing old with share my bite of my fries with and just walk down a stone path while breathing in the daisies it, it is picturesque yes but it is something that I desire to experience in life because it sounds nice or even beautiful. And so, even though a lot of men would say stuff to the effect of don't worry about women, get your money up, or chase money, not women, and the women will follow. And I agree that money is important for having a relationship, but in my opinion, I don't want to chase money because then, yes, women will then chase myself for having that money but I don't want to be chased for my physical attributes, that being money, because that is how you get a woman with no personality. And that, to me, would just pain my existence. I personally really don't understand men who want a trophy wife. It is not my cup of joe, I get it. But for myself, I would like a woman with more than just looks. I of course want this woman to look good, but I would also like substance. And I just have a hard time thinking about loving someone who has nothing discernible about themselves. But here is where I tie myself into the whole dating dynamic of the modern world. It is that word, love. I want to love someone. I want to love my future girlfriend. I want to love my future wife. I want to love my partner in life. And maybe you have noticed but all I have said there is akin to me, me, me. I want to love. I want to love. And then once more for the people in the back, I want to love. Now, here is why that is such an issue for actually building a relationship or possible future family. Not only is it because of the obvious narcissistic behavior, but it is also detrimental to dating just on the whole. I want all of those things. But what would someone who I want, want in a partner? And now, when you think of things like that, then it is no longer the statement of, I want to love someone, but rather, would this someone love me? Or more bluntly, am I lovable? Am I someone that my supposed partner would love? Do I even love myself? And after I had this realization while I was sitting on my bed complaining to the world about not being in a relationship, not tomorrow, but today, after having the thought of, am I lovable, peak my mind, I became mentally sad. Cause, I'll be real y'all, I have no idea as to why who I want would love me. I, I cook great food, but as of recent, with prices going up on everything, I've cut back considerably. Thanks a lot, True Dope, for that one, by the way. I, I look in the mirror, and while a couple of years back I would have told you that I'm pretty handsome, the more and more time that I've spent looking in the mirror, the more and more I've realized my imperfection in comparison to my beauty. In reality, I'm pretty good looking. But I hate taking photos of myself because I always immediately realize that my left eye is slightly lower than my right. And then the photo, it, it just looks bad. I, 
I strive for perfection, so then that photo becomes a dud and I get rid of it. I'm, I'm a pretty masculine person when I get to the brass tacks of it, but would who I want love a masculine man? Now, of course, a lot of men will go down and say that, yes, women like masculinity, and while I don't disagree, the point of the question is to highlight who is my someone looking for in a partner. And then, what makes me different compared to every other man who also wants to date her? What makes me special? I'm short. <laughs> that is quite literally the answer that I've come up to as to why I'm special. And uh, something tells me that that isn't really the best descriptor as to why someone would date me. And the bad news with that is if I date this someone, then we might get lost in a crowd. She'll uh, start by walking with me and end up with a baby from a stroller somehow. Started going on a date and now she's being charged with abduction. They'll be looking for me at the child drop-off zone when she says that she was with a grown-up man. I'll go with something like, Little man, do you know this woman? And I'll poop my diaper in embarrassment. Uh, oh, uh, this, li this is live time reporting. Hold on, I just got confirmation from this someone that I'm currently into a talking stage with that apparently I'm the only person who has complimented her in the way that I have. Good news everyone, I now have two things that are special about me and differ me from everyone else. Yes! So anyway, the point of this TED talk is to outline how everybody nowadays wants to love someone, but they themselves don't know why who they want would want them. Or that is to also say that they want love while finding themselves unlovable to even themselves. And this isn't meant to be some self-love kind of thing, cause that whole shtick is a scam of uselessness, but this is meant to be a point of reflection. Why would your potential future partner want you like you want them? Uh, but to shift from that, I'm going to say that I realize that my typical content is news related, but I just felt like my voice on this matter matters. And so this is why I have made this video. But uh, other than that, if you want to listen to some daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.